Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Today, we will be going over Reaper and actually setting up contact for a multi-instrument inside of Reaper. I think this is the fastest and best way to set it up in Reaper. Join me, let's go. All right, so we are in Reaper today. And uh, this is the default Kamala 5 theme that I'm actually using. All right, so first thing we want to do is go up to File, and we're going to go to the Project Settings. And once you're in Project Settings, you're going to go to the Advanced tab. And we want to make sure this Allow Feedback in Routing is turned on. If it's not turned on, none of this will actually work the way you want it to. And you can actually save as your default project settings. So whenever you open up a project, it'll actually have those settings in there if you're going to use this uh, setup that I'm going to tell you. Hit OK. All right. So. I want to show you the end result. So I'm going to go to my contact and I'm going to do the 16 layout that I currently have. All right, so this is what I made. And basically I have one contact. I have it to where all of them will trigger themselves. So in any one of them that I click on will actually be able to record. I put all of them have EQs on here. And what I can do is open up contact. All right. And now we have contact open. Let's open up some instruments. So let's do a, let's do some ensembles. Let's do a cello, double basses. Let's do the harp, viola, and the violin. So we have all these in here. Um, and all of them are actually set up to go out of the first initial setup. Usually you can just go in here and just change this and set it to like two or, you know, three and four and go down into five and six. The easier way that I find it, if you have all your instruments that you know you're gonna use already set up in here, I just go right here to where it says uh, presets batch configuration, click on that. And you wanna go to batch functions and we're gonna click on this first one. That says clear out section and create one individual channel for each instrument right so once we click on that as you see it'll name all of them whatever it is up here I can close this i can go over here and i can play right and i can go to the next one which is the basses and i can go to the next one which is the harp And I can go to the next one. <laughs> and this is all setting everything up. So let me show you how to actually do this setup. So I'm gonna go to the new project. Right. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure we can get the instrument set up. So I'm gonna right click in here. I'm gonna go to uh, insert virtual instrument. And we're gonna look for contact. I'm going to use this contact here, 64 outs, hit add, and it's going to ask me if I want to create the tracks, I'm going to say no. So you said no on that, we're going to drag this over, and we're going to double click in here just so we can bring up the options on the screen. All right, and we're going to go up here where it says options, and we're going to go to build 16 channels of mini routing. All right, so now we have that set up on here. Um, you want to make sure your contact actually has 16 outs on it. So if you don't see these outs options down here, make sure you click on here, this little box, and make sure the outputs is turned on. And once that's on, you can hit on this plus sign down here, and you can go to the quantity, and you can bring it up to 16. And you can do stereo for each one. And you can just do, it's gonna delete the ones that's currently here. And just hit OK, and you'll be able to have them on here. If you want to save that, you can just click on here and then hit Save. And that will save your settings. All right? So we're going to close out a contact for now. And we're going to go to this first contact up here. And we're going to click on the in and outs for that actual sound. And we want to make sure that this master sim is turned off. So we're going to uncheck that. And on this uh, right-hand side, these are like all the, the MIDI that's set up for it. And what we want to do is set up the audio 
for those sounds. So they'll come out on these channels here. So let's go to add new send. And we're going to go down to the bottom that says add send to all tracks. And what this is going to do is create all those tracks. All those 16 tracks are in here now. Um, you can actually do it this way where you can just drag and drop it into the, the first one. But I think that's just a long process. This seems to be a lot easier for me. And you want to go to this audio right here this is where it says one and two. Because you already have one and two here. So you want to have three and four here. So I'm going to click on this drop down arrow. And we're going to go down to where it says new channel on this send track. And we're not doing mono, we're doing stereo. And we're going to go three and four, right? And we're going to go down here again, and we're going to do stereo, and going to do five and six. I'm going to speed through this process, so you'll see it going a little fast. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. This will help with the YouTube algorithm and make sure other people can get this content as well. But back to the video. I'm going to close out of here. And now we just need to make sure that all the audio is going to come out of these down here. So I'm going to click on the first one and scroll down to the bottom one, hold down shift, click on that. And what I want to do is hold down alt on the keyboard and then hit this in and out. So what this is gonna do is set up the ins and out. It's gonna send to that master. It's gonna be set up for whatever your channel. So this is one is 31, 32. So that's the last one on that chain. All right, so that's the end of those 16. All right, so now that you still have them highlighted, you can right click on the record option and go down to automatic arm when selected. Um, I like to use the um, bars, so I'm going to set my bars in here. And I'm going to go to Insert. And we're going to set New MIDI Item. So now I'm just going to hold down Control and drag this one down. Drag that one down. Control, drag that one down. So now we have all four of these. Select all four. Control and drag these down. All right, so now all of them have MIDI set up on them. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier to uh, go in here and do your MIDI if you want to. I'm going to select all of them. All right, and I'm going to right click on this record option again. And I like to do um, MIDI overdub so that I can overdub the MIDI when I'm actually playing. So now you have that on here, and we are all set up for contact. All right. And if you want to, you can actually add your like uh, EQ down here and just put them on each one of these tracks. Um, but what I like to do after this is actually create another um, insert a track, bring this one up to the top, and we're going to hit the little plus sign here to make them into children. So now all these are children under there. Kind of make that a little bit smaller and bring this one down just so we can have the effects to get back into contact. And now you're pretty much set up. And you can just name this. So now we have contact 16 outs right there. And you can go down here and hold down shift, click on that one, uh, right click, and we can save this as a track template. And you want to make sure we uh, include the items. And basically just save this wherever you want to save your templates. So this is a great way to get everything set up and started. Uh, so you can have it just like my other one. If you want to color this, you can just color all of them if you wanted to. Um, uh, this, this, this color I'm green for right now. So boom, you have green. And like I said, you have it to where each one of them will make, uh, you know, sounds for your contact. And you want to double check, you can just go and just create, all right? And I'm just going to make six of them. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so we have six of them on here. We can change them here and do the, the stereo to the three and four here. But uh, like I said, it's easier to just do the batch. Just right, just click on here where it says the uh, presets and batch. 
go to batch functions and click on the first one that says to clear out and create. So now we have those set up uh, and you'll be able to see them. And let's change the sound. So I'm gonna change this one. All right, so now we have all of them set up. So this one is the first one. And now you have a, a cello ensemble just that quick. You can name this cello and actually save this as a template as well. I hope you guys got some kind of value out of this and setting up uh, contact inside of Reaper. If you guys have like any questions or concerns for me, definitely leave them below in the comment section. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. So that'll let you know when I drop videos like these. All right, so if you want to learn a little bit more about Reaper and actually making beats inside of Reaper, I have this video right here that'll show you how to make a dope boom bap beat in Reaper. And once again, it's your boy, x.e.l.o. Till next time, people. Peace.